The Optimal Region Connections tool is used to create an ideal connection network between a series of input points or region data. This can be a raster with the zones must be clearly indicated or a feature class such as points to polygons with the polygons might, may not be multipart polygons. And what the tool does, it will consider all the input features and then connect them in the most optimal way so that each point is connected to the other one with no points connected to more than one point along the network. It's quite a simple process. The input raster of feature region data is the features you want to navigate amongst. The output optimal connectivity line is your output name that you assign to the feature output. You can enforce an input barrier or feature data into this tool. For example, if there is a barrier that cannot be crossed, for example, a gorge where there is no bridge that can be crossed, the cost surface is the accumulation raster you would have created using the distance accumulation tool. And as an optimal output, you can create neighboring connections. This will, in essence, connect all the various input points in a connected network. It is more extensive than the default output of this tool, the optimal connectivity lines, but it allows you to assess whether or not those lines are in fact suitable. You can also use the planar or the geodesic method. Here, if it's a small area, planar is more than sufficient. If you're working at a very large area, then geodesic might be an option. Then you also have the option of generating connections or not. This is just the information that is carried over into your attribute table and the information that you can subsequently use to infer information from the output. This is how the tool would look once populated with the optimal lines now indicated. As you can see, the lines connect each of the individual input points, but only once. There is no overlapping. If you instead have a look at the connections, you see that now all the points are connected. The attributes of these two lines or feature classes will give you additional information. For example, the normal output, the connectivity lines, will give you a path ID that uniquely identifies each individual path. For example, that one. It will give you the cost, which is related to your cost surface, and the regions that it is connecting. Now, these regions are the object IDs of the homesteads in this case. So it's connecting homestead 9 with homestead 18. This can be seen here. If you label your homesteads, you can see that this refers to the region that is indicated in the attribute table. The connections homestead is similar. However, now you have a connection across all the input features, so you're not necessarily limited with only the one connection. As you can see here, Region 9 has multiple connecting paths ranging from it. These are all the potential paths from that particular feature to the other homesteads in the vicinity. If you switch that layer off, you can see that if you use the normal optimal region connections, it is only the optimal path that is shown.